So to find the value of x in this, all I have to do is say our solution. Let's get that in this question. I'm, I'm going to take it in just a few simple steps. So step one, what we're going to do is write out our equation for this. 6x plus 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 36. All right. So looking at this, all we have to do is to count. This is 1, 2, 3. And this is 3, so we just pick one of them. So this gives us as 6 to the power of x, the bracket of 3, because this is 1 to 3 to 3 places, divided by this 2 to the power of x. So we write this as 2 to the power of x. This is 1, 2, and this is 2 is equals to 36. All right. So having this now, you can write this out by saying this is 6 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 over 2 is equals to 36. All right, so having this now, looking at this, we can say, we can rewrite this part here by writing this as, this is 6 divided by 2, or the bracket of x. Because this is x, this is x, so putting this bracket here still make it the same thing. So multiply by 3 over 2 is equals to 36. All right, so doing this now, we can just do this by saying, we want to multiply both sides by the inverse of this. So, because we want to remove this, so multiply both sides by the inverse of 3 over 2. So, this becomes as say 6 over 2 all to the power of x multiply by 3 over 2. So, multiply by 2 over 3. So, we are trying to multiply that by the inverse of it. So, it's equal to, so 36 over, so 36 over 1 multiply by 2 over 3. Alright, so having this, we can say this cancel this and this cancel this. And then we are left with this. So we can simplify this further by saying um, this cancel this one, this and this is 12. All right, so we are left with 12 multiplied by 2. So meaning we are leaving this, this then giving us the same 6 divided by 2. We can then say 6 divided by 2 gives us 3 to the power of x is equal to 12 multiplied by 2. That gives us 24. All right, so now that I've got this, we then go to step 2. Step 2 is using logarithm. So introduce our logarithm, which is 3x. So introduce logarithm to both sides. And 24. I don't waste your time, so I'm going straight into this. So we then bring our x here backward. So this gives us as x, the log of 3, is equal to the log of 24. All right. So we can then simplify here further by saying divide both sides by the log of 3. So divide both sides by the log of 3. So 3 cancel 3. Then we are left with x is equal to the log of 24 all over the log of 3. All right, so we can further simplify this by writing this out as saying, this is going to give us a saying. We have this as the log of 3 multiplied by 8. That's going to give us 24. So divided by the log of 3. And we know that whenever we have this is a multiplication, it becomes our addition for log within. So meaning we can write this out as saying this is x is equal to the log of 3 plus the log of 8 all over the log of 3. All right. So looking at this, we know that our um, um, multiplication here, our multiplication become addition here. So doing this now, we're going to have this as saying this is the log of 3 divided by the log of 3 plus the log of 8 all over the log of 3. All right, so I did this because you know that um, this log of 3 is for the log of 3 here, and this is also for this, so we split this. This have one, and also this guy have one. So we can easily say this cancel this, that will give us one. So to continue this, we're going to have this as saying, this is x is equal to, I said we have here as 1 plus the log of 8 all over the log of 3. All right. So simplifying this in our third step, third step would be the final step. This is going to give us as this x is equal to 1 plus, we can simplify this by saying this is log of 2 to the power of 3 because we know 2 to the power of 3 is 8, which is 2 times 2 times 2, giving us 8 all over the log of 3. All right. So solving this now, we then take this 3 here, backward here, so this will then give us a same x is equal to, writing this out, you can have 1 plus 3, the log of 2, divided by the log of 3. All right, so solving this now, all we have to do, remember in logarithm, when you have this as log a all over 
log b, that would be equivalent to log b a. All right, so meaning this three here become our new base. So this given us as in x is equal to one plus three log three to the power of two. All right, so this become our final value of x. So if we implement that in the equation, we will get the answer as 36 is equal to 36. So this is the final answer. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and take care of yourself. Bye.